Hi Cancer, this is Kelly from Goddess Power Tarot. Thanks for visiting my channel and listening to this love reading. If you have not subscribed yet to my channel, please do. You can also tick the notification bell below so you can be notified when I upload videos. And um, if you would like to get a personal reading, the link is in the description box below, but just know I'm a little bit delayed, so I'm going to try to catch up on all those readings on Saturday when we get this big snowstorm. Okay, um, so this reading will be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, and or Venus. And just remember, it's a general reading, so it may not fully resonate, but I'm going to try to break it up into four different messages. They may flow and all be connected or they may just all be separate so try to listen to the end of the video so that you can um, fully then discern whether the reading is for you or not okay so let's see I'm not going to do a Celtic cross spread um, I've been doing them a little bit differently so let's see what the energies are for cancer for love for February 2019 <clears throat> now love encompasses all relationships, family, friends, spouses, exes, um, current significant others, your pet. <laughs> Although um, I'm not really a pet psychic, I can refer you to someone that, who personally I know is. Um, but you can just contact me. Also, like my emails, I don't know, I'm not, I haven't been getting my emails. So if any of you have been trying to email me, um, I have to just tweak something. I don't know what's going on with it. So if you've sent me an email, I will look at it Saturday and see why they're not downloading. Okay. Cancer, Cancer. Let's start. Oh, nice. You're starting with the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, Cancer. And the Eight of Wands. This is a card of, this is Cupid's Arrows. So just so you know, Cancer, um, you're going to be getting some messages, a very lucky time for you. This is also, so, so a couple of signs showing up here, um, the fixed signs. It's funny because the Wheel of Fortune and the World card both are connected to both those cards are connected to the fixed modality in astrology. So um, we're looking at Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, and Scorpio. So if that resonates for you in any way, there may be uh, messages and communication coming, possibly about travel or communication from this person in general. It could just be, um, I feel like it's a lot of messages and it's quick and it's fast and it's out of the blue. This could be someone that you've, you're dealing with, someone from your past. It could be someone new. Okay. So let's clarify and see what those messages are there. Now, I didn't... Give me just a second. I just want to give this a quick shuffle. And while I do that, I'll, ta I'll just keep meditating a little more on the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like, I, I feel like you're going to feel very lucky very fortunate with these messages that are coming through for you. Now, if it's not those signs, of course, look, just pulled out from, and the, and the, um, I'm taking these, somebody's walking away from a relationship. Just so you know, um, if you've been waiting for someone to end something with someone else, I feel like um, they've been waiting for the right time to do that. And February seems to be when it's happening. Okay. You, now, I don't feel like you've been, I mean, some of you may have been in a third party situation, but I'm not really picking that up. Some of you may have just been um, abiding your time, waiting to hear from somebody. You know, there is an element here where there could have been someone who's been working very hard, focusing on their money and their, their riches and their fortunes, and they haven't been in contact with you. And then here, like this double, 
like, oh my goodness, you're really going to be hearing from somebody. Lots of messages. And it may not just be, you know, it may not just be one person. It could be those four signs that I said, again, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, and Scorpio. There could be a lot of messages coming from each of them, whoever they are. They could be anybody. I mean, these, these could be... <laughs> These could be just people texting you or, you know, on social media, sending you messages, you know, you may not even know their signs, but I definitely am seeing, um, you have some options here as well. I feel like this again could be about travel. Somebody messaging you wanting to meet you or connect with you. <laughs> okay. I'm going to move on to, um, and, and also there is an, uh, somebody's taking um, a temporary break from a situation in order to connect with you as well. All right. Let's see what the other messages are for cancer for February 2018, 2019. Goodness. Who, who doesn't do that? Like the first month of the year, we're still stuck in the last year um, verbally. <laughs> Okay, Ace of Pentacles, <gasps> Two of Cups, oh my goodness, you're getting an offer, Cancer, you're getting a beautiful offer to connect with someone, this is my date card, always, <laughs> or someone's offering financial support, or you're getting a loan from someone, or you are, and it could be from a friend. Now this could be connected to here. Or this is just separate. Could be from a friend. There's a meeting of the minds happening here. Two people who are on the same page. Because these look like pages to me. Well, the boy, not the girl. Um, so there's partnership happening here. And it's very healing. Could be with a Leo. Um, but a, a very sweet, generous offer gift something new something tangible something real it could be an engagement ring it could be a it's a gift of some sort to kind of like bring both of you together it's it's stable it's it's tangible it's something you can touch you can hold maybe it's a valentine's gift of some sort i don't feel like it's um flowers or anything like that. I feel like it's like maybe a piece of jewelry or, um, you know, something that will last something metal or this in the mineral mineral field <laughs> or money or somebody's giving you cash or taking you on a date and spending a lot of money or, you know, you could have an offer from someone who has a lot of money. All right, let's clarify. cancers would be like finally oh finally <laughs> we've been waiting for this reading <laughs> all right let me let, let me not jinx it right <laughs> okay ace of pentacles clarify for me the ace of pentacles Ooh, ten of ten of swords the ten of swords what is up this person has been defeated. This person has hit rock bottom. So if that's your, if that's somebody that you've been connected to that needed to get out of a situation or a relationship or like get their head out of their ass about you, I feel like it's happening. They like, there's no way to go except up now back into you or your arms. <laughs> You've been down on your knees for someone for so long and you're looking up at them and, and I just saw this meme the other day and I have to say it. If they don't accept your love, that uppercut going to be harsh because you're coming straight up from the floor and you're looking up at them like, you know what, this better be it because if this is not it, then you are so out, then it's, I'm out, <laughs> like 100%, like my heart is cut off from you for good. And I feel like this person, you might have just been... You might, you know, be putting the last final sword in this person's back if they've just been like 
deserving of that uppercut and now it's like they're like done defeated you're right you know I messed up <laughs> or I just didn't I was just stupid you know that's kind of like what their energy is right this person knows they know that you two are meant for each other and they've they've kind of been like hiding it for a long time and they they might not you know I don't really feel like they're going to come out and express all this crazy romantic love. You know what I mean? They, they kind of keep it in, but you guys are like the yin to each other's yang. You know, they kind of keep it in. They really look at BJ. They really want a blowjob. So just saying. And that might be um, a little crass for some of you. But hey, you can always end the video and move on. So this person, they know that you guys are like you, you mesh well. You're great together they know it and and they're like actually listening to their intuition now it's not even about that uppercut or that you know that sword that you finally put in their back it's like damn they're right I am we are one <laughs> so mm. What card represents the high priestess to me? So that's I, I. So I can't remember actually, but I'll tell you what. They're both. These are both number two cards. So they, this is partnership here, and this is what they're. You know. Eleven, eleven. Watch out for that. Maybe February eleventh, you'll hear something. So, um, you know this. They know this about you. Look, there's sorry. There's the moon. That's your Cancer Crescent moon. They know. They know, they know, they know. All right, let's go into another set of messages. So messages, an offer, a new beginning, some type of new, like a, the real deal. One of the other messages that Cancer needs to hear. Let me get these up here out of the way a little bit. Okay. I know some of your OCD. This right here is going to piss you off. Hold on. Let me help you out. Okay. Best I can do. Because um, I am not OCD. So, Cancer. Other messages for Cancer. Hmm. Six of Pentacles. This person's got Libra in their chart somewhere. You may not know it, and if you don't, it doesn't matter. But if you do know, maybe that just confirms it a little bit for you. And, uh, there's communication. These are both communication cards here. Um, this is a three. Somebody is waiting for someone to give back to show themselves, you know, um, now I feel like this, this might be a separate message, but you, you relate to it as you want. Um, there's an energy here with this, this person here is kind of like, you know, all you're giving me here are these little freaking crumbs. I swear it even looks like he's got a cookie in his pocket there. Who knows? But this person. And picking up a Scrooge. <laughs> like before he became. Before the Red Reaper. I wouldn't be surprised if Death, Death Card shows up here. Because I'm sensing a massive change with someone. And of course this could be change. That this person is giving change. But you are not seeing that you're seeing you know I see you coming in here with this I see you coming in here flashing your big gigantic coin at me and I think that's great and you know I see you are you know you're th you know hey you're trying to impress me with this big old coin and it's but it's just one big coin you know you're looking at it like that and you're like and, and then at, at what what is it going to be every you're a little jaded cancer a little bit perhaps from this person maybe from stuff from the past or 
you're whatever uh, jaded just in general lately or from something but you're looking at this like oh I see you're giving me crumbs that's okay I'll be over here waiting for something better so even if this person does if this is connected to someone and they do finally like snap out of it and they wake up you're still in this energy in February of <clears throat> great thanks for the um thousand bucks great thanks for the expensive dinner um hey great thanks for the new shoes thanks for blah 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 a b c d e however you got to keep giving this ace <laughs> i'm making you sound like a gold digger but i know you're not maybe some of you are but you're not just you're just like okay that's fine great um, if, if you're just giving me that one pentacle and then everything else is going to be these stupid little crumbs. No, nope, I'm waiting. Somebody else is better out there. Plenty of fish in the sea. Plenty of fish in the sea. And right you should. Keep your wits about you. Not that I have to tell you that because I know you know that. Um, King of Wands. There goes that, that fiery energy. So you might, yeah, you're dealing with someone, I'm picking up Leo, maybe not, but you're dealing with someone who, um, they, they're, I'm not going to say lazy, but they're, they're a little, they're more passive when it comes to the fire signs. Okay. In that, um, you know, they're, they have an active energy about them, but they sit on their laurel. They get their hand on their hip here, like as if he's got, he's, He's packing a gun and he's ready to go at any time, but he's just waiting for the right time. Okay. Um, so that's kind of the energy of the person I feel like either you're currently dealing with or this is someone new who's trying to make some kind of, um, you know, plans with you or giving you little crumbs. And if it's not related to this, this could be a separate situation where for some of you, that is what you've got two things happening here. You've got someone here who's coming back from the past and they want to make it right. And you've got somebody else here, Cancer, who, um, you know, is just kind of giving you bits and pieces. And they're just maybe waiting to see if you're going to take what they have to offer. You're just like, mm, well, actually, you know what? I don't know. I might, but, you know, I got somebody over here now who's offering me this big ass coin. So maybe I want that. And so you're kind of like, who? Let me play this out a little bit here. Because I do feel, um, you know, if these are, these are two separate people, remember I was saying in the beginning, you, you have a lot of options. You're going to be like getting a lot of messages. So I'm feeling like options in dating in February, you're going to get asked to go on like a Valentine's something or other sometime the 11th, the 12th, the 13th, the 14th. I don't know what day Valentine's day falls on, but you know, could be a weekend. I'm not sure. Um, so I feel like you, I do feel for some of you, you've got someone who's trying to reconnect with you offering you someone you may have had a longer bit of a past with or just someone coming in and offering this big coin and then somebody in somebody else coming in and offering you these measly little please sir more food please please sir <laughs> like as if they see you see here you are down on your knees like now you're getting the uppercut and after after I give you that somebody else coming along you're just waiting for something better cancer um, let's clarify oh my goodness now you've got the king of Pentacles <laughs> Wow cancer what is up with you you've got two options here okay some of you if it's not related to this um, you've got some type of a fiery energy who's coming after you or chasing after you wanting to you know be in your periphery but they're not giving that much and then you've also got um this earth sign <laughs> which could be here look i feel like this could be an earth sign virgo taurus capricorn as well who's making some kind of big offer someone you may have known for a while look Look at his coin, his coin. 
It's very similar. He's good. This person wants to give you. It's like really all they have, but just kind of be careful because I, I feel like you, your intuition, I feel your intuition is saying, okay, you're flashing your big old coin, like I said earlier. But you might be, you know, this is, this, this ace of pentacles is way bigger than this, these little crumbs of little coins. So I think that's what you're looking for. What are we doing here? I think that's what you're looking for. It's not that you're being a gold digger, but you're looking for tangibility. You're looking for proof. Okay, let's move on to the next set of questions here. Okay, so it could also be, um, this could also be three people. This could be somebody from your past who's realizing and really wants to try to make, make it work. And you've got two other people showing up here, fire and earth, waiting to see what the earth sign is going to do and looking that the fire sign is just giving bits and pieces they might just be stringing you along because they're waiting for somebody else as well or looking at somebody else as well so if you're dating if you're single and you're dating just pay attention to that energy i mean do what you want of course it's ultimately up to you but something's up here all right let's see a couple more messages here uh, seven of cups cancer doesn't know what to do knight of pentacles this person see that this person from your past is going to keep trying keep trying keep trying keep trying <clears throat> It's not these two because these kings are not reducing down to knights I'm not picking that up um, either way if it's not anybody all I know is that <laughs> all I know is this okay the Pentacles can represent everything in those cups right I'm trying to get as you can see um, jewels, home, vanity, health, accomplishment, um, that dragon, what does that dragon represent? A new beginning, perhaps, celebrations, um, but you are intrigued by that, that with which you do not know. And so it's difficult for you to decide what what you want. So if I were going to caption this, which I will later, um, it's basically about indecision about who to choose. Do you go back to the past and accept that? Or do you accept these new offers coming in? So you're a little static. But I feel like um, this Knight of Pentacles he is this whoever this person is with this ace of ace of Pentacles energy this person will keep trying but they're not going to bend themselves over backwards to compete or to try to convince you of their love their thought process is I know it I know we're meant to be together you're gonna have to figure out what you want and so they will stay present and keep offering to you but this horse does not move he's static and he will just sit there and he will hold that pentacle out and he will say it's here again if you want it be careful of this energy though this is the masked man or woman. This could be, this is someone who's also intriguing but doesn't show um, their cards. And that's got you curious. You know who this person is, okay? It might not be anybody here on the table. 
This might be somebody else who just hides enough to make you wonder. So it's the decision between having stability or chasing after the unknown. Which do you want? Let's clarify. This reading is going on much longer than I thought, but it's very interesting. Mm. <laughs> you feel there's victory and success with the one thing that you don't know about. But you're aware of the value of what another person brings. But you're chasing after the mystery. You're chasing after the thing that you don't know about. The thing that you're waiting to come to you. I feel that you will probably go with the devil you know is better than the devil you don't know. Because at least with the devil you know, you know what you're getting. And the devil you know is the one you really don't know. Now, does that mean that you're going to choose that person and then it's a done deal? No. The Seven of Cups is commitment issues, too many choices, not being sure, having a pretty good idea of what you, you think you want but and, and where you think you'll be most successful and with who. Um, I don't see a decision being made. I just see you, again, kind of looking around and saying, hmm evaluating what you what you want. Do I want to go back to the past? Do I want to accept these new offers coming in? Do I want the one who is the most mysterious? Is that the one from the past? Or is that someone, this earth sign? I don't feel like it's the, I feel like the Sagittarius is just flirty, just kind of flirting. I feel like the earth sign, if the earth sign is the one from the past, uh, that's the one you're intrigued with. Um, if it's not, I feel like the earth sign just kind of like his face is wait let me bring this up look at his face he's just he's cute but he's just uh the taurus too could be taurus but he's kind of like um he doesn't really focus on anything else but his money <laughs> so you're either waiting for that or you're waiting um for him to show his face. All right, so I don't know. This is it. This is some different messages. Some are some are tied together. Some are not. So let's take a look at um, your your uh, messages here. Oh, it says go. <laughs> it says go. And I just got done saying, I don't think you're going to be making a decision, but I don't think you're undecided. I just think that you're not going to commit to anything just yet. You might decide, but yet not to commit. You know, there's, there's one, it's one thing to make a decision and then it's a separate thing to actually go and commit to that decision, right? I could say yes to all blue in the face, but if I don't go ahead, get up and go do yes things, then I'm not committing to anything, right? So tend. Oh, I always feel this is earthy to me because it's about growth. But so are the wands. Go and tend. Go tend. What does tend say? I'm interested to see what this says. Well, let's look at go. Begin, start, movement, big changes, new beginnings, trust your instincts. Tend says, turn my big old arms in the way. 10 says nurture, care for self and others, potential motives, nourish family. There's an aspect in your life that needs tending to. Maybe you've been so consumed with life's daily tasks that you haven't realized that a part of your life has slipped into chaos or dismay, disarray. Take some time and space to nurture yourself. Take a look at your surroundings. What do you need to tend to right now? Especially if you need to make a decision.
So your antidote to this whole situation is tend to what needs to be taken care of first because the if you're trying to make a decision about um, a relationship or a situation or people coming in, maybe it's not time to do that yet. Maybe it's just time for you to have fun and accept offers for the holiday, for um, Valentine's Day in this month. Let me take a look at your love oracle messages. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Yep. Your love life is being affected by children. <laughs> you need to, um, if you have children, you need to, I guess, pay attention to your children right now. As far as movement goes. So maybe it's more along the lines of, you know, um, thinking things through accepting dates accepting whatever not uh committing to anything in <coughs> excuse me in february um but kind of just sorting it out in your mind about what you want because i i feel confliction here about uh going back to the past and accepting or being able to trust new offers coming in as well so your safe space for you is to focus on your children. Now, if you don't have children, some of you are school teachers or have children in your life to some degree that um, need your attention, whatever it is. Maybe you coach sports team. Maybe you uh, work in um, child psychology or help children in your church. Uh, children are important. It could be your nieces or nephews or grandchildren or um, wherever children are, wherever they surround you. And if, and if they don't surround you, um, children bring healing in our lives. And you're cancer, so family-oriented you are. Um, if you're not surrounded by children, um, perhaps it's time to surround yourself with some children at some point in some way um in this uh in this month they'll i feel like they'll bring you clarity children are the epitome of tr of real love truth they don't have those fears those young children everything they do is love infused right they come from a place of authenticity and sincerity and I feel like you need to be around that right now because there is a possibility of confusion happening for you. So I'm going to end your reading there because I could sit here for an hour and I have more to do. So it, again, you know, personal readings are in the description box below. It's just one. I mean, when you click the link, it'll take you to uh, a lot of different readings that I offer services there on the app. So um, definitely let me know and I'll try I'm trying to catch up so give me a little bit of time and I will see you guys in March I hope that you have very happy Valentine's Day and good luck with everything good luck to me too because I'm also cancer Venus um, yep I'll talk to you soon okay bye